Hi, Cliff Kratz with Neodent. Today we're going to go over the drill stops for the GM Helix system. If you will take a look, um, we have two kits in particular. There's the Neodent for the NSK handpiece. That's the drill unit that we're using today as the NSK. And then we also have the WNH, very popular in a lot of offices. Um, very simple system. We don't have numbers around the side, so I actually wrote my 8, 10, 11 and a half, 13, and 16. These happen to be the same lengths as our implants. If we look in the lower left of the kit, we have those same lines or markations on the side of our drill. And the problem is if we're drilling today and we don't have something to help us stop, we don't want to change our angle too much, but more so plunge too deep and numb the patient. So instead, we could use our drill stops uh, customized by Zasio, and we simply take one of these out. This happens to be the eight. We slide the drill up through the bottom, and then we connect this guy and make sure that's locked in. And I did verify all of these uh, that that's for the eight length. So again, if I was going through the kit, I could slide this up um, into these uh, drills. <clears throat> Another one, a three five. Let's say we want to go 11 and a half. So I take the, the shank portion of on the dental latch. I slide it up through the open end and then I can connect it to the handpiece. It bottoms out so I can't advance any further. It's up right against the head of the handpiece and now I'm set at 11 and a half millimeters, okay? Biggest thing about a neodent is if we're placing, let's say, an 11 and a half implant, we would actually wanna try and use the 13 length drill stop and at least drill a millimeter and a half or ideally two millimeters past um, the length of that implant as long as there's no anatomic structures in the way. And uh, that's it for this Zasio kit. Thanks so much for your time.